smooth magazine changes are easy for you to learn and practice without needing any range time at all. Let me show you how. If this is your first time here, be sure to subscribe to the DFI channel and click the notification bell to stay current on all the defensive firearms instruction videos. And while you're at it, feel free to comment on this video or ask me a question about it. I'll get back to you in a timely manner. I'm going to show you some magazine dry handling drills that you can do with or without dummy ammunition. These are going to be your empty gun or emergency reloads and your tactical or retention reloads. They're easy to practice and they'll be absolutely accelerating your gun handling learning curve. Riley Schrader here with Defensive Firearms Instruction. I'm a retired cop and personal firearms trainer. I help new and veteran shooters get or improve their defensive shooting skills by teaching the art, science, and laws of self-defense, whether guns are involved or not. First off, let's discuss the safety protocols for any dry handling or dry firing practice. Make sure that you have some uninterrupted time to do this practice and be 100% focused on what you're doing with no distractions. When you do inevitably get distracted, you must have the discipline to restart the safety protocols all over. Step one, unload your firearm and inspect it for an empty chamber. Step two, unload any magazines that you may be using for your practice. If you have magazines that you want to dedicate for dry fire only, there's nothing wrong with that, but it's not critical. Step three, check your firearm again to make sure that the chamber's loaded and there's nothing in the magazine well. Then make sure that there's no possibility for you to mistakenly load your firearm with live ammunition. To re-emphasize the very first component of this, when you are inevitably distracted or you lose your focus on the practice itself, run through the empty gun and magazine checks once more. There's no downside in checking your gun again to make sure that it's unloaded. One component of magazine changes is releasing the magazine from the pistol itself. The first part of this is pressing the magazine release button and releasing the magazine. It either falls due to gravity or you can pull it away from the pistol grip with your support hand. There's pros and cons to each method, but the important part is to get the old magazine out. Here's what each method looks like. If you're becoming just becoming accustomed to your pistol, experiment with which hand position works best for you so you get the most comfortable and effective position to push on the magazine release button. Just practice shifting your pistol back and forth from your master pistol grip to your magazine release grip and go back and forth until you're very comfortable with all the angles involved. The next component will be acquiring your reload magazine and inserting it into the pistol grip. For our purposes here, don't worry about the slide position at all. Just change magazines back and forth like this. Where you retrieve your reload magazine from is not that important right now. However, do set yourself up for success by orienting the reload magazine so you can easily get your master magazine grip. Your master magazine grip looks like this. Once you get very comfortable and confident with your magazine changes back and forth, then you can experiment with putting the reload magazine into an awkward position, then fixing it 
to get your master magazine grip as soon as possible to finish the reload. This of course follows through to relieving your reload magazine from a pistol pouch that you have mounted on your belt. The next phase involves using dummy ammunition. Dummies or inert training cartridges have no live components, meaning no gunpowder and no primer to ignite the gunpowder. You can load the dummies into your magazine, load them into the firing chamber, and then eject them from the chamber to simulate the action of the pistol if live ammo had been fired. Using an empty magazine to induce slide lock, release the empty magazine, acquire the reload magazine that has a dummy round in it, load the magazine, and then release the slide. If the slide's already forward for whatever reason, then you'll need to rack the slide to chamber that round. Again, if you're just getting familiar with your pistol, isolate each of these procedures. Just work on reloading the gun from slide lock until you can't get it wrong. Then, work on reloading the gun with the slide forward. If you know the chamber is empty, then you know that you'll have to rack the slide. This will help you maintain your awareness of whether the chamber is loaded or not. It's usually not the end of the world if you eject a cartridge if you didn't need to, but you should pay attention to the loaded status of your firing chamber. Now, let's talk about this tactical or retention reload. Depending on which internet celebrity that you're talking to, this is either useful or useless. In the competition world, on some courses of fire, it is a required skill to perform correctly. In real life, the controversy rages. What you're doing is ejecting a partially expended magazine from the gun and retaining it on your person while you're reloading the gun with a full magazine. To maximize the efficiency and the speed of this procedure, acquire your reload magazine first, release the old magazine into your support hand, and then insert the reload magazine into the gun. Keep the old magazine in hand, stash it in a pocket, or some other convenient location on your person. Just keep it. The idea is to not just randomly discard a partially loaded magazine that you might be able to use moments later. So there you go. You can practice your magazine changes with or without dummy ammunition, and getting good at this isolated skill will make your reloads much more efficient and much faster. If you're a new shooter, has anyone shown you how to do dry magazine changes? If you're an experienced shooter on any level at all, and you took the time to watch this video, thanks. Do you have any dry fire magazine change procedures? Since you are doing some online research for basic firearm skills, take a look around at some of the other dry fire videos and verify what I've said from other subject matter experts. If you find something much better, let me know in the comments. I'm always interested in evaluating and acquiring new skills. If you're in the Southern California area and you'd like to discuss setting up your own personal firearms training program, send me an email. The link is in the description. If you like this video and want to get some more basic firearms education, subscribe to the DFI channel and click the notification bell to stay updated on all the latest videos. I'm Riley Schrader. Thanks for watching and see you next time with Defensive Firearms Instruction.